Hey guys, Crute Man here, and it's Wednesday. You know what that means, right? Right? It's time to see if Crute had a good week in the shed or a bad week in the shed. I hope everyone had a fantastic holiday and is ready to get back to the grind. I know having a few days off was really, really good for my mental health, and the next few weeks are going to be jam-packed with content, so I'm really, really happy I was able to take some time off. By the way, if you guys should, you should watch Letter Kenny. It's a fantastic show. The last season just dropped uh, two days ago, so I would recommend watching it. That's what I did. One of the things I did over my break. Anyway, like I said, this week, this coming next few weeks are going to be jam-packed with content. Starting today, the finale is going to be my first time at CES. I'm going to have a ton of content there. I'm really excited. If you guys haven't subscribed, make sure you go down and smack that sub button. Let's get right into my profitability numbers. So as you guys can see, as always, we start from left to right. The leftmost is how I get my rate per kilowatt hour. So basically right now, I'm at about $0.10. Cents flat when you take into my house into consideration which is pretty solid then on the middle column we see my total cost per day and how i calculate it and my power write off so you can see i'm at about 50 dollars a day in terms of how much it costs me to operate my my shed and my garage and i have about 11 dollar power write off a day so let's focus on what i was what i've been mining and how much i've been making all right so let's start off with my cpu mining income i've been mining on zpool which just takes the most profitable uh, profitable ghostwriter coin at the time mines it and it pays out in ltc i've got seven gpus go or seven cpus going it's basically six 3900x's and one 5900 and I'm getting $7 a day in LTC, so that's not bad. Then you look at my CASPA, my ASICs, I've got, I'm getting about 45 CASPA per day for about $4.37 for my three KS zeros. Let's move on to my GPU mining and how much income I'm making from that. So you can see I'm mining a mix of Carlson, Carlson, Prim, Nexa, uh, Nori, Zill, and Ergo. I'm getting about $2 a day in Carlson, $33 a day in Prim, $6 a day in Nexa, almost $10 a day in XNA, almost $10 a day in Zill, and almost $10 a day in Ergo for a total of $70.67. So my total income from the farm is about $82.04. Then we see my power, it's about $50 a day, minus the write-off, it's $39 a day. So if I was a if I was a hobby miner, my profit would be $32 a day, but since I'm a business, it's at $43.04 a day. So now let's compare that to last week as I always do. You can see if we start we'll, com we'll compare my income on A6 last week. I am down from 5 and a half cents to $4.37. My CPU profit though is up from $5.82 to $7 a day, and my GPU profit is down quite a bit from $109.33 a day to $70.67 a day. And my profit has definitely taken a hit. We are down from $85 and 62 cents to 43 three dollars and four cents so overall like i said we are down about 50 percent in terms of profitability from last week to this week some of the reasons for that are carlson and prim just taking an absolute no nose dive i did not switch to power ai as well holidays have been insane for me and i chose to prioritize my family over chasing profits so i definitely made this a, lo a lot less this week and that's one of the reasons why but it wasn't all negative like i said cpu profits were up and Caspa profits were down. You know, the amount of Caspa I'm yielding is about what I thought. And I have said before, once I get down to about 36 Caspa a day between the three KS zeros, I'll move them to unminable and basically turn them into GPU miners until they become bricks. Or maybe they'll never become bricks. It all depends on what Caspa profitability does. But I'm sure new Caspa miners are definitely sweating right now. And you can actually see the price of Caspa ASICs has come down quite a bit as well. As far as CPU go mining goes, I will most likely stick to Zpool converting into LTC for the next few weeks. And I will keep selling daily or weekly to help offset the farm's power cost. But overall, we are still profitable, which is a good thing. I am really interested to see what the next few weeks bring, if some coins will bump, to help offset profitability or this is what we can expect in terms of profitability for the next month or so uh, i will be doing some major changes to the farm over the next few days and uh, so i suspect next week's profitability will probably take a little bit of a hit as i will have some more downtime than normal so we'll see stay tuned next week to find out thank you guys for watching this video please like and subscribe uh, like i said i do these profitability videos every single wednesday so you can see whether i'm profitable or not and a lot of people just comment on my my channel and just go are you profitable are you profitable well make sure you check out these videos and you can find out if i'm profitable 
and why I'm profitable or or if I'm negative or positive for the week, what are the reasons behind that? Thank you guys for watching. Like I said before, I'm really, really close to that 3,000 3, sub mark. 30, I'm about 70% away, so 30% of my goal. Everything's looking up. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. Crew man out.